Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goni. In our today's video, we will talk about slope. Ano na mga coverage ng ating video tutorial today? Una, yung definition of slope. Pangalawa is yung different types of slope. At yung pangatlo is kung paano ba mahanap ang slope gamit ng formula o yung tinatawag natin rise over run. Again, without further ado, let's do this topic. Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about or we will discuss slope of a line. Last time, nag-upload tayo ang topic natin about linear equations in two variables. After that, ito na yung mismong set of topics natin para sa mga grade 8 students here in the Philippines. Again, without further ado, let's discuss this topic. When we say slope of a line, we can easily define this as the slope of a line is the steepness of a line. In other words, you can say or you can uh, compare the word slope with the inclination inclination of the line. Yun yung pinakamadaling um, palatandaan natin about the definition of slope of a line. And then, with regards to the Cartesian coordinate system, imagine one of the characteristics of a linear equation in two variables is that the graph of it is a straight line. So I have here a Cartesian plane, as you can see, with a graph of a linear equation in two variables. And then, as you can see, I have two dots or two specific points within that line. Now, when we talk about the slope of a line, ito yung dalawang formula na dapat nyo matandaan in getting the slope. And I will tell you the difference between the two formula. The first formula, you add in rise over run, you can get the slope of a line if the given is a graph. Again, you can use rise over run if the given is a graph or a straight line. While if you have this formula, it is much applicable if the given are the coordinates of two points. Okay? Pero you can also use that, this formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 if meron kang line. Ang kailangan mo lang ay distinct points. So I have here a graph of a linear equation at sana magpag-focus tayo dito. And then, nag-specify na rin ako dito ng ating dots or ng specific points. So, paano ba natin makakuha yung rise over run? So dito, sabi kasi sa rise natin, it is a change in y coordinates. So, ang movement natin doon, pag sinabi natin yung rise, is from this point to this point. Yung mismo movement is parallel sa ating y-axis. Ito yung ating rise. At yung run naman natin is yung ating change in the x-coordinate. So, mula rito, in which, kung mapansin nyo yung ating broken line, that line is parallel to your x-axis. This is your run. Sir, how about if say babaw naman po? What if dito naman po? You can also get the rise if ito yung mismo approach mo, sa mismo line. And then, for the run, pwede rin naman to. Okay? So, let me discuss more about slope. Later on, I will give you examples on how to use the rise over run to find the slope of a given graph of a linear equation. So I have here another information or another thing na pwede nyo malaman about slope. Yun yung mga tinatawag natin types of slope. We have four different types of slope. So let me tell you that this part or this kind of example is yung tinatawag natin positive slope. Ano ibig sabihin yan? When we say positive slope, the value of m or slope is positive. So, sir, how can we tell whether the line has a positive slope? Ang titignan nyo lang muna is kung paano ba siya umaakyat. So, as you can see, this kind of graph na meron tayo, yung line natin, ang basic characteristic niya, it rises from left to right. From left to right. Tumataas siya. From left to right. Again, when you say positive slope, 
It is a kind of slope that rises from left to right. So let's move on to the next example. Yung next example natin, if we have a positive slope, ito naman yung tinatawag nating negative slope. Sir, ano naman po yung negative slope? Or what is the basic characteristic of a negative slope? Basically, the value of slope is negative. And then, for the movement of the line, it rises from right to left. From right to left. Ganyan na kanyang movement. Next, yung third graph natin, or third example natin, is yung tinatawag natin zero slope. Sir, bakit zero slope? Siyempre, your m or slope is equal to zero. Sir, here's the question. What is the basic characteristic of a zero slope? So, kung kapansin nyo, this line is parallel to your x-axis. Yun yung mismong characteristic ng isang zero slope. So again, zero slope, or if the line is parallel to your x-axis automatic, the slope is equal to zero. That's it. So let's move on with the next one. How about the fourth one? Ito naman yung tinatawag nating undefined slope. Bakit siya undefined? Kasi kapag kinompute niyo yung slope niyan, m is equal to rise over run, ang mangyayari, kahit anong value ng iyong numerator, always ang magiging denominator mo is zero. Because walang mangyayaring change in the x-coordinate. Okay? So undefined yan. m is equal to undefined. So, sir, what is the basic characteristic of an undefined slope? So, as you can see, yung zero slope natin is parallel sa x-axis. While, yung undefined slope naman natin is parallel to your y-axis. That's it. Or in other words, it can be perpendicular to, to your x-axis. So, I hope na sa four examples natin, na alam nyo na, nalaman nyo na, yung different types of slope. We have the positive, we have the negative, we have the zero, and we also have the undefined slope. Now, sa next part ng ating tutorial, I will teach you how to use the formula slope is equal to rise over run. Let's continue. So we have here examples. We have here four lines, uh, three lines na hanapin natin yung slope natin. So we have... The formula, slope is equal to rise over run. Mag-focus muna tayo dito and let's name this line as line L. So, sir, paano ba tayo mag-aarap ng slope or value ng slope if gagamitin natin yung rise over run? So, una, mag-focus muna kayo sa line natin at maghanap kayo ng distinct points. So, pipili kayo ng distinct points ito. First ito. Kasi saktong-sakto. And then, another point na pwede natin pili na ito. You need to choose two specific points para makuha yung coordinates niya. So, paano ba? Ito. Two specific points. Hindi na natin kailangan kung yung coordinates niya. So, paano? So, your M or slope is equal to rise over Run. Una, yung rise natin, it is the movement from this point, 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry, paano movement natin? 1, 2, 3, hanggang sa matapatan mo yung next point. Again, from the first point, mag-move ka lang, 1 unit, 1, 2, 3. Hanggang sa maging katapat na itong second point natin. So, your rise is equal to 3. Okay? Now, sir, how about the run? From this point, mag-move ka ngayon ng 1, 2, 3, 4. Hanggang second point natin. So, this is over 4. 
So, review na natin na paano natin nakuha yung 3 over 4. Na slope. Gamit ang rise over run. From this point, 1, 2, 3, pwede naman, straight na lang gawin mo. 1, 2, 3. And then, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, over 4. That is your slope. And, as you can see, focus ka sa line. That line, yung characteristic niya, it rises from left to right. Automatic, your slope is a positive slope. That is the answer for line L. Okay? So, let's move on with number 2. Let's name this as line M. So, para natin may makuha yung slope ng line M. So, we have here slope or M is equal to rise over run. So, una, hanap muna tayong two distinct points mula sa ating graph or sa ating line. So, nasaan ba? I will be choosing this one. At, ano pa ba? Dapat yung saktong-sakto. Ito naman. We can choose this point. Now, sa so rise muna tayo. Ang rise natin, 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, tatapatan lang natin yung second point, pero ang movement natin is vertical, upward. 1, 2, 3, 4. Nakuha. So, we have 4. And then, yung movement natin ngayon, pansinin nyo ha, ang movement natin is from right to left. So, kapag ganyan ang movement natin sa run, magbabago ang sign. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, therefore, this is negative 5. Kapag ang movement mo ay from right to left. Okay? So, pag sinimplify nyo yan, you have, hindi pa tapos yan eh, you have negative 4 over 5. Kaya na simplify yung ating sign. Sir, how about pag ganto naman po? Pag ganto yung movement. Kasi may ibang mga bata naman ang ginagamit nila or ginagawa nila while using the rise over run. Dito sila nagsisimula. Gabi mo dyan, syempre rise tayo. Pero pwede naman ang movement natin is pababa rin naman. Pero at dapat vertical. So mula rito, tatapatan natin yung point nito. You have 1, 2, 3, 4. So still, meron ka pa rin 4. Pero ano nga lang, negative nga lang. Kasi pababa eh. Diba? Kasi kanina, pataas tayo kasi sa positive. So ito, kaya siya naging negative 4 kasi ang movement natin mula taas ko baba. Next naman natin is that you have this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Since ang movement natin ay from left to right, ang makuha mo naman ay positive 5. But still, when you simplify this, it will also give you negative 4 over 5. So this is the correct answer. Kahit alin pwede. Okay? Let's move on to the last example. So as you can see, I have here this one. We can expect that the value of slope is equal to zero. Bakit? Di ba sabi ko sa inyo kanina, if the line is parallel to your x-axis, automatic, the slope is zero. But, for the sake of this tutorial, papakita ko sa inyo kung bakit siya naging zero. Try natin ha. So you have m is equal to rise over run. So, hanap tayong point na pwedeng gamitin. Kaya rin pwede. Ito. Sakto naman lahat yan sa kaya Yan. Tinan nyo eh. Uh, wala natin nagawin yung movement pataas or pababa. Because, magkatapat yung dalawang point natin. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang rise mo is equal to zero. Over your run, 1, 2. Kahit ano pa maging value niyan, if... Sa isang fraction, ang kanyang numerator is 0. Automatic. When you simplify it, it will become 0. This is the correct answer. So, I hope sa ating video, ay natutuhin nyo kung paano gamitin rise over run para mahanap ang slope ng given graph or line ng isang linear equation ng two variables. Again, 
Kung bago ka sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. At huwag mo na rin kalimutan na i-hit yung bell button. So, again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye! Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gon. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook. So, I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.